I think it's time we complete another class in zombies. So today we'll be getting our pistol Zircon scale. Now, I think the pistols are one of the more underrated classes in the game. Obviously, the TYR has gotten a lot of limelight recently. Uh, this is one of the more meta weapons in the game with its high damage output. I have a feeling some of these other pistols can do pretty well. But we already have our TYRs or our tiers or however it's pronounced, Golden Enigma. We just need to get our WSP Stinger, our Renettis, and our Core 45 done. So let's hop in and try to get these done. So to start us out today, I'm gonna be using the Renetti and I have the conversion kit on here to make it kind of like an SMG. Normally the Renetti has burst fire, but this makes it fully automatic with the conversion kit and hopefully it'll make it easier. I kind of wish I could still equip a Kimbo with it, but I'm sure this will be fine. Now this is arguably the most difficult pistol to get done. I think it has like the hardest challenges out of all the pistols, but first we need to get our 250 kills, which is standard with basically every gun. Then it wants us to get 10 disciple kills, which I think I have an idea for how we're going to get those, but I guess we'll find out. I think I'm going to need to get this up to like pack a punch too. So I can go do an outlast contract in the tier two zone. I think that'll make it like the easiest to find disciples. Then we need to get 250 point blank kills, which shouldn't be too bad. Zombies get pretty close up to you anyway, so I'm I'm sure a majority of our kills will be point blanks anyways. And then we need 250 kills while we have four perks active. And I came in here with four perks, so this shouldn't take too long to get. And then once we're done with those, we need to do our golden enigma challenge, which is getting the, the 100 kills and X filling. So definitely the hardest thing we got in front of us right now is to get our disciple kills so i want to try to get enough money to get up to pack a punch too to make sure we find those a little bit easier and i do also have this pack a punch crystal i think i'm gonna use it i was kind of hoping that i could save it because when we get all of our pistols done for our zircon scale challenge we're gonna need to get 300 kills with each of them pack a punch and just to save time or make it a little bit more efficient i was hoping i could hang on to all my pack a punch crystals but it's only 5,000. That's not that much to get back a punch. But just to get us started, I'm going to do this little spore control contract. I'm still not the biggest fan of this contract for grinding out zombie kills, but at least at the start when I first throw, start throwing these things down is when we get a decent amount of spawns. And we only got two spores left. People keep telling me like the secret strat to this is to throw these on to the last two spores and leave them on there and don't destroy them. You'll get the most spawns. So I'm going to see if that's true. Uh, there's some like weird PEMDAS shit with this contract and people are like, oh, if you just take this, subtract that, you know, A, a squared plus B squared equals C squared, you'll get more spawns. I'm not buying it. I'm gonna take out the initial zombies that spawn for me just putting the little devices down. And I'm going to train them up and just see how many zombies we get. It looks like the gang's all here. This isn't an insane amount of zombies, but it's better than what I got last time. Just having like one spore getting tickled by the device. And eh, it's not bad. The spawns are pretty decently fast, too. Still just wish Xfil was here. I'll try to do this until we at least get some of our camos unlocked. Oh, there's our 250 kills. So that means we should be pretty close to, yup, more perks active. And our point blanks is maybe a few behind. I've probably killed a few zombies. Not right up in their grill. So now I'm making sure that my gun is touching them when I kill them. These zombies get no remorse from me. Oops, accidentally hit a nuke. Something's not right here. There's no way that I got this many kills not point blank. Unless I just unlocked all my camos at the same time and it only showed me two. I just hit another nuke, damn it. Is point blank like not tracking or something? Oh, there it is. All right, I just had to bitch about it enough for it to show up. So once I get it to 8,000 here, which shouldn't be too long, I can end this contract. I'll get an additional 2,000 for completing it, and then we'll have enough to get pack a punch two and start to go disciple hunting. But I'm, I'm willing to admit where I was wrong. This contract's pretty decent for grinding. I'm not going to lie. It's all right. We're getting a good amount of zombies here. They're spawning in fast. It's not enough to like overwhelm you and like take you down. But it's enough to get some progress. Like, we got all three of our, like, easy zombie killing camos done here. And it's only been in the game for, like, what? Like, I've been in this game 15 minutes, maybe? And a decent portion of that was me, like, walking around trying to, you know, do a few nests and actually find the contract. And we got enough money. Let's take this out. And that out. And we're good. Got anything good for me? I'll self revive. I'll take it. And give me pack a punch, too. And we should be good to move on over. Where's the closest outlast? All the way over here? Come on. Can't spawn one closer for me. And right, let's start this bad boy up. And give me this. And hopefully it actually spawns in Disciples. From what I remember, it should. But maybe things have changed. Maybe it's like location specific. Let's get this started. And show me the Disciples. Oh, we could have just came right here. There's a pack of machine right outside. So far, I'm not seeing any. But there is a Mangler. What's going on, Mangler? Where are your buddies at? And we're down. Holy shit. Okay. Playing a little bit uh, too fast and loose. Yeah, so far, zero disciples have spawned and one mangler has spawned. Let me see if it's a percentage thing. Oh, we're almost done with this contract. We're at 94. And there's a disciple. Let's go. I knew it. Just had to be a little bit patient. 
There we go. That's one down. Oh, and another one spawned. Okay. We got it. We cracked the code. We hit this nuke, though. That won't kill the disciple, right? No, it won't? Cool. Easy damage off on him. But damn, this is a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. I'm getting my ass kicked over here. Just keep sending me disciples. I don't want anything else. That's what I'm talking about right there. Late a bitch. And another one's down. But while we're sitting here grinding, I just I just got to thinking. There's a few Cold War features that I'd want to see re-added into this game. And one of them is being able to switch your field upgrade mid-game. I thought that was a really sick feature. It was really nice when you're like, oh, this situation calls for this field upgrade. Let me uh, switch to that. And then all you have to do is like, you know, hit the escape button. Or, you know, pause your game and just switch to a loadout or physically change what field upgrade you had. Sometimes Frenzy Guard is good. Other times, like, mm, maybe I should have energy mine. Or, like, I, I have a mission right now for me to use healing aura, but I always forget to equip it because it's kind of ass. And I play solo most of the time, so it don't really help me out a whole lot. I also got to thinking about it because if we get done with this challenge here, there's still, like, a decent amount of time left in this game. If I go, like, spin the box or find a wall buy for, like, the next pistol I need to work on, I should be able to, like, uh, apply a custom blueprint. That was always sick when you just hop into a game and you're like, oh, uh, I don't really want to use this weapon yet, or I can use, like, this wall buy weapon to hold me over. Let me throw on this blueprint where I already know this has, like, the best attachments that I need for this gun to make it viable. You can just do it in, like, two seconds. Very underrated features of Cold War that seem to have been forgotten about or just, like, can't be implemented for whatever reason. Would be sick if they came back, though. But for this, it seems like I do need to keep my percentage up to be able to get those elite spawns. A lot of people just say, like, oh, you, you can let it get down to zero and grind out zombies, which is true. You can grind out just zombie kills. But once I let it drop below, like, 50 or 60 or something, I'm getting no disciple spawns. So I'm going to try to get this up as high as I can. Maybe even, like, 90-something before I leave the building again. Actually, never mind. I got to leave right now. It's at 87. I'm getting no disciples now. Why is it so, uh, like, wishy-washy? Oh, there's one. Okay, so it's like the 80s is when they start showing up. It's still definitely faster than like running around the map trying to look for them. That's for sure. Oh, motherfuck. Yeah, I think that was, this is my last self-revive. So I need to be really careful here because we're just on the brink of getting Golden Enigma. And leaving, X-filling is a huge part of actually unlocking that challenge. Oh, there's two disciples. I don't even know how many we're at. I lost count after like three. We can't be that far off. No, 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 no. I'm not going down right here. That's not happening. Sorry to break it to you, zombies. I'm still standing. And I just found a sentry gun on the ground, so I might as well throw that down. You know, it's not really going to do shit. Sentry guns are so bad in this game. No wonder people are fucking duping them to high hell. Because you need about 30 of them to even mimic a portion of a deadbolt turret. I'm starting to get stressed. I'm fighting for my fucking life in here. There's one. Got it. Is that it? Nope, I must need, like, one or two more, hopefully. Oh, that disciple solo. Come on, buddy. There you go. Oh, don't go down here. And that's our final disciple kill. Let's go. Let's just try to end this contract. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. 100%. Beautiful. Just what we needed. Uh, Cashmere, finish the rest of them, please. Thank God, dude. That is probably as close as it can get. Oh, we got a jug schematic. I think I already have that, but maybe I'll drop it for somebody if I see anyone. All right, all we got to do is exfil now. Looks like we got a few people trying to exfil. Perfect. I'll guarantee my safety. Unless these guys are dicks. All right, let's get out of here. We're done. Oh, we dropped the... Here, I'll drop this. We'll, we'll trade schematics. Pretty sure I already have dead wire, but in case this guy don't. I oh, know, he dropped jug again. I guess I'll just pick them both up. Just for a little extra XP. I heard the sound. It sounded like we got gold. Let's go. We got it. So that's two pistols down, two to go. Right, our next pistol is the Core 45, which seems to be missing a magazine. What? Where'd it go? Did I just forget it on the helicopter? All right, well, hopefully it still has the same amount of ammo. But this pistol technically does have a conversion kit. I mean, not technically, it definitely does. But it doesn't make it into fully automatic, so I just decided not to use it. But what we do need for our camo challenge is obviously the 250 kills per usual. Then I'm pretty sure it's 250 kills with fire damage, and then 250 kills with four perks active, and then 250 kills with all five attachments which i i should have i mean I, I i do but i don't at the same time so hopefully that doesn't uh come to bite us in the ass because i definitely equipped five it's just the game's choice whether or not uh throw them in here 
It also brings me back to the point of being able to apply custom blueprints. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. This is a bad spot. If I were to like hop in game and finish getting this like fully leveled up in the game that I was playing last time, it would be impossible to get all my camos for it because there's no way I can add attachments to it. It's not like we have like an armory stand like in Cold War where I could go up to it and hit like random attachments. But hopefully this won't take too long. We literally just need the 250 kills for each of our challenges and we don't need to do anything special for them. It's just all what we have equipped. And I don't understand this Akimbo bug. There's, there seems to be a few bugs with Akimbo. Like, we're, we're, we're missing a magazine here. And the effect stays on our screen unless we switch weapons. It's so weird. But do we have any good contracts to grind out kills? I guess we can go do uh, the weapon stash. That's decent for it, I guess. At least that's what people have been telling me. Let's throw the drill on there and grind these camos out. This is like a diet version of an Outlast contract. There's like a little bit of zombies. And sometimes you get hellhounds coming in like that. But nowhere near as fast pace. If you walk away far enough, it stops drilling. So that's cool. And the zombies stop spawning, apparently. Like, literally. There's nothing here. There's a hellhound that was just standing. It'll start coming in until we get close again. But we got it done. You got anything good for me? Oh, self-revive, I'll take it. And another pack-a-punch crystal. That'll be good for us working on Zircon scale. All right, well, what else can I grind? We can go do an escort, I guess. People in Vegas be like. All right, let's start this contract, and hopefully this will be the last of it. What? What is this? Oh, that's a statue. I thought it was like a small little gremlin man. All right, carry on. Oh, there's a 250 kills while having four perks active. Where's the rest of my 250 kills? Am I not doing good enough for you? I've had four perks active in less amount of time that I've had five attachments on here. I'm gonna be pissed if it don't give us our five attachments now. At first, it was just a joke, but now I'm starting to get worried that we don't actually have it. Oh, there's one with fire damage. Oh, and there's our full attachments. Perfect. I think we already had our 250 kills done before we even hopped in this game. So I guess I'll just complete this contract so I can get the reward. And then we're out of here. All right, we got it done. What we got? Brain rot. Cool. Appreciate it, game. Boo-boo ass reward. Get me out of here and give me gold. Did we get it? Yes, sir. And last but not least, we have our WSP stingers here that we need to get gold. And the challenges for this are pretty simple. We need to get our 250 kills per use. Then we need to get 250 kills with electric damage. So good thing I had the schematic for dead wire. Then we need to get 250 hip fire kills, which should not be a problem considering I can't even ADS with these right now because we got them akimbo. And then 250 kills with all attachments. So and we have an outlast contract spawned right next to us. We're going to speed run getting this gold. Let's start it up. And it shouldn't be too long before we get this done these honestly aren't really the greatest pistols out here so maybe these were last and least they don't have a whole lot of like reserve ammo for either of these they don't have like the largest mag count either and they don't do the crazy amount of damage definitely the most underwhelming of all the pistols the rest of them have been pretty decent Oh, there's like 250 kills. We were a little bit ahead on kills with this. So now it's only a matter of time before we get the rest of ours. Oh, there's like 250 kills with uh, electric damage. There's like 250 kills with attachments. Oh, don't tell me I'm not getting hip fire. This is definitely hip fire right here. There's hip fire. Okay. I'm worried for a second. Right, let's complete this contract and get out of here. I'm hoping when we go and do Zerk on skill that these get better when pack a punch because... They are not very good right now. Like the definition of mid. All right, that was probably one of our fastest camo grinds yet. That was like, what, 12 minutes? If that. And we got gold. Perfect. So now we just need to get 300 pack-a-punch kills with every single pistol here. I'm going to try to get them both in the same game. All right, so let's go ahead and throw a pack-a-punch crystal on both of these. And really hope we don't crash while we're grinding, because then I'll lose both of my insured weapon slots. And we'll have to wait a whole hour to get them back or have to play a bit to reduce the time. But we'll head to the closest outlast and hopefully be able to knock these out. Even these pack-a-punch aren't the greatest. It's like they don't do a whole lot of damage at all. These are definitely the worst pistol out there. At least we get a bit more ammo though. Our reserves go up to like 480, maybe a little bit more than that. And then our magazines are going to be at 64. Still like pretty weak for a full auto weapon. No, no. Why did I have to jinx it? I had to say something about crashing. My game just completely frozen. Oh, this is ass. This is stupid, dude. Why do I have to test my commentator's curse? And why is this one double the amount of time? All right, well, I killed some time off of one of our insured slots. And apparently I was only 50 kills away from getting this camo done. That's fantastic. But I did find a TYR in my contraband stash for my weapons. And sometimes whenever I have a gun in my second slot, it just becomes contraband for whatever reason. So hopefully this is still my build for the gun. And if not, maybe we can still just get the camos on it anyways. It would just be nice if we had the meta build for it. Oh, let's go. These are the meta build. Perfect. All right. 
Let's knock these out and not crash, please. Oh, but we got a slight issue here. I went into a stronghold and usually switching weapons. When you got a Kimbo, gets rid of our effect. But both our weapons are Kimbo, so we're stuck with this until I get a chance to drop them. I really can't fucking see shit. Oh, and there's our camo. Let's go. Onto our TYRs. All right, let's start up this contract. Knock the rest of these camos out. Exfil, do it again. Oh, and there's Zircon scale on our pistols. Let's go. Our TYRs are done. Now we just need to get out of here. Now let's see if that killed off enough time from our other insured weapon slot to be able to go into this next game and get both of our guns or both of our remaining pistols Zircon scale. That's a total of 26 minutes off. Come on. Oh, 13 minutes left. I might wait it out. Just some more added time onto this. Oh, it's finally done. Let's start this up. All right, let's finish strong here. I got these two refined Ethereum crystals. So both of my guns are packed too. And let's go to an Outlast contract and get this done. These CDRs, CORs, whatever they're called, the things that look like locks. These things are actually way better than I ever thought they'd be. Having 80 rounds in each mag is pretty good while pack a punch. Them being only semi-auto isn't the worst thing in the world. I would definitely prefer them to be fully automatic, but I think these might do like the most damage out of any of the pistols besides the TYRs. This is pretty sick the way we're doing this holdout contract, except for this dude coming in and trying to take the kills. Because from where we're standing, no zombies spawn behind me, and they're all just going right in front of me. But now they're all going after this dude, so I, I had to go ahead and say something. Now he's not going away. Get your own grind spot, pal. All right, there's our Zircon scale. Now we gotta get it done on our Renetti. And then we have all of our pistols done. Honestly, I feel like I should just be petty and end this mission so this guy can stop stealing my spawns because he's not leaving. He's spreading the spawns out a bit and just taking them away from me. Bastard. I'm just going to keep frenzy guarding near him to take all the zombies in my direction. I don't want to cluster mine on his side. His grind's already taken too much of my time today, buddy. I don't need you making it even longer. Oh, and there it is. There's Zircon scale. All right, buddy. No more freeloading. There we go. We finished the mission. We're hitting the nuke. Now you can fuck off, pal. No more spawns for you, bastard. Now he's fucking following me. Leave me alone. Now I'm calling on the exfil and getting out of here. He's even trying to steal my kills during this fucking exfil. Go away. Now he's trying to fucking knife me. Fuck you. Leave. Skid fucking daddle. Get out of my helicopter. <sighs> I think we're finally done though. That time we took 56 minutes off our insured slot. Convenient now that we don't have a timer on it. Stupid ass game. But now we have 10 out of 36 weapons Zircon skill. That's pretty good. 26 more to go. And really quick, if you're curious, this is what our core 45 looks like with Zircon skill on it. Again, we have the little issue where we don't have the mag on the other gun for some reason, but it's all right. I think it's still the same amount of ammo. And then of course we have our Renetti with our aftermarket part on it. Honestly, Zircon scale is really starting to grow on me. I like this camo a lot. This is our TYRs with Zircon scale on them. Still a sick animation and some good looking weapons. And our WSPs with Zircon scale on them. The most disappointing out of the bunch. But that definitely took way longer than it needed to. There needs to be something in place for crashes. Like if your game just unexpectedly closes or something, you need to be able to keep your stuff. An insured weapon slot timer being an hour and then the second one being two hours is just insane. It added an entire like hour and a half to our grind that we really didn't need. Like we could have been done so much faster, but I'm pretty exhausted. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Again, thank you guys so much for all your love and support. We reached 196,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. I can't thank you guys enough. But that's all I got for you today. I'll see you in the next one. Later.